What's going on everyone? My name is Danny GG and today we have a very special collaboration with the one and only Footed Ghost. If you don't know him, Footed Ghost is an awesome Halo content creator, so make sure to go check out his channel right after this video. Thanks mate. Hey, how are we doing guys? Today, Footed Ghost and I are going to be discussing what we expect to see in this month's Inside Infinite update. And make sure to comment below what you expect to see and maybe, you know, some of your predictions will be right. So I actually think this update is going to be a lot juicier than people expect. And if you're out of the loop, uh, it's going to be discussing sound design for Halo Infinite, which we've had a few sneak peeks of over the past year or two. And I know every time one of these comes out, uh, people aren't super excited about them. They don't, you know, raise any, any red flags or anything. Um, but I think they actually provide a lot of insight into the game. So today we're going to be talking about that and see what kind of bits we can draw from the current sound design videos and what we can hope to see from the update this coming week. All right, so Footed Ghost, what do you think we're going to be seeing in this month's update? All right, Danny, so I think this update, um, a lot of people have been thinking it's not going to be too big or not going to see anything that useful going forward, but I actually disagree. I think the chance uh, I think there's quite a high chance that we'll see a you know a new soundtrack or like a track from the Halo Infinite soundtrack, um, and it possibly may be the one from the Halo Infinite campaign demo that we actually haven't seen yet. So it's the one when the Chief um, picks up the Mangler just after dropping the Ravager. Uh, you hear this like this drum beat um, and this music that just intensifies and just gets louder and louder as he uh, you know takes over the turret and you know takes over the banished. Uh, uh, sorry, kills the banished forces there. Um, you know, so I, I think that that song we, or that track we might hear um, because I was always wondering why we hadn't heard that one. So I think that's something we'll hear soon. So it, this would be the perfect, um, perfect place to release that or something completely new. Everyone loved the last uh, last track uh, 3 we released, uh, which was just shortly after the July reveal. So I think if they were to release another one, uh, even if it was that one we heard in the July reveal, um, I think it would be great because, you know, just something extra to listen to and, you know, for all of us Halo YouTubers to add into videos, that would be, that would be awesome as well, you know. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, there's that, but I've also got a few other things um, I think we'll see as well, but I'll just hand it back over to Danny to see what LC thinks is coming over, coming in this update. Yeah, no, that's a really great point, and I think a lot of people, including me, haven't even thought about that, like, I know the track you're talking about, he picks up the Mangler and there's kind of like some brute sounding drums in the background and yeah. it could be a, a cool thing that they introduce and uh, we haven't really had tracks like that since like Halo 3, so I, I'm into that style of music and would be good for uh, the content creators too, for sure. Uh, <laughs> That's what so That's what new music for sure, I think it's a high possibility we see that because uh, we had two tracks and everyone loves Halo music. I think. We could even get some more substantial news from this. So music is great, uh, but we've seen from some of the very old sound designs all the way back from 2019, they've had some clips where they've recorded both a helicopter and a fighter jet. Uh, so I'll put mm. those videos on the screen now for you guys. And if you missed them, they're pretty interesting to watch. It's only about two minutes, but you know, the first thing I thought of when I saw the helicopter, and I'm sure a lot of people thought it is, that's the Falcon. I mean, yep. it has to be the Falcon, <laughs> like a wasp. Great. It just doesn't sound like that, the way that the rotors spin and everything. And so that 100% has to be the Falcon. And I'm hoping in this update, they just come out straight and say it because it's on the internet yep. there and people have commented Falcon, Falcon. But like, you know, they could just be like, use this opportunity to introduce and be like, and here's all the vehicles we've recorded. And by the way, Falcon's in the game, uh, especially after, you know, all the the uproar of no playable elites and no dual wielding everyone's kind of like on edge right now yeah. and i feel like if they just confirmed the falcon that would kind of bring everyone back and be like okay they're definitely Come listening in. yeah <laughs> um and then another interesting yeah. thing on that um the fighter jet in that video so footed ghost what do you think the fighter jet could be oh that's a good one uh yeah i was actually wondering about that when we saw that um in that video because you know we haven't actually seen you know any type of jet besides you know the long sword or the broadsword from halo 4 so 
you know, I don't know what that could be. It could just be something from a cutscene. But I would love to actually pilot a longsword. You know, how awesome would that be? I feel like that's, um, I feel like that's something you know a lot of Halo fans have wanted. You know, ever since seeing it in Halo One. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully you're right, and that is a a, a jet. But because the the sound of it, like I am right in saying that it is, it was a jet sound, wasn't it? Like, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. So I mean, I think so. I think we'll see something like that. Maybe we won't pilot it per se, but. We're definitely going to see a long sword, I reckon. Yeah, and I think all the effort that they put into it and actually getting a real jet and recording it leads me to believe it's more than something that just appears once or twice in a campaign, like for a cutscene, oh, like you said. So, um, so I'm really hoping that this has an even larger implication for um, Big Team Battle 2.0, like they've mentioned yep. or, or teased, you know, yeah. as... The big mode, you know, it's it's probably not going to be battle royale. It's not going to be invasion because there's no playable elites rip. Um, <laughs> so if there's a jet, my first instinct when I saw it was battlefield. You know, you have yeah. huge maps, uh, huge big team battle kind of style, and you, you can't have a big, you can't have a fighter jet type vehicle on a small map or a four v four eight v eight. It just won't work. So huge galaxy brain Halo detective plays right there. Um, <laughs> so that's that's where I think we're going with this. Um, yeah, and I'd love to see that. Like, if we if we got a you know club rule ha who's very reliable with his leaks and inside scoops has said that we're getting a you know a, a big team battle mode that you know big sorry big team battle 2.0 mode, and uh, that in itself you know it sounds like it's going to be huge. Now I don't want it to see I don't I don't want to see Halo run replicate what Battlefield's done. But if it could put its own spin um, on the on the big team battle mode, just make it huge, just crazy battles. I mean, it will be like Battlefield. You know, I, I don't say it's not going to be like that. It will be if, if they're trying to, you know, if they're trying to replicate that huge mode. Um, but I think you know, there's so much potential there. And having some jets, you know, imagine um, imagine they add the longsword and then they have a a banished Seraph or something. Uh, that would be so awesome to see. You know, kind of like what Halo Reach did, where you had the um, the saber. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So you know, even if they were to use that, because I think that actually used jet sounds as well, didn't it? I think. Yeah. So yeah. we could even see that with like seraphs and all that sort of jazz. So that would be so so cool uh, to see in a you know in a big big team battle environment. So for sure. Who knows, man? I'm I'm looking forward to seeing something like that. If they tease, if they tease a new vehicle, you know, like the Falcon, so like the Falcon, bring back the Falcon. In this update, that would be so good. But you know, I think everything is everything is pointing to um, lots of vehicles and you know lots of air vehicles for this time around because we don't usually have many UNSC vehicles that are especially pilotable um, or that you could fly. Sorry, so uh, I, I don't know. I, I feel like this one will be really um, infinite. It's going to be the game that's going to just you know stand itself apart from everything else. You know, in terms of gameplay where vehicles um sound design you know and this is a big thing we're going to see in this update so yeah i'm looking forward to it man. <laughs> so i know i said that a lot of people might be sleeping on this sound design update but i think there is a pretty good potential to see some actual in-game footage and what i mean by that is maybe they show us the process of them doing the sound recording and then maybe they show how they layer it over perhaps like an in-engine or in-game model of like the battle rifle shooting or something you know they show us taking um the audio files from you know whatever gun they're firing outside and then they kind of like layer it over and over and then to like you know pre-recording to final product type thing or near final which i think would be really cool and also obviously give us more insight into what the game looks like even if you're just in like a standard and just like standing in a skybox or something, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, yeah. But what do you think the odds of oh, us love seeing that? that are like... I, yeah, I think if they were to um, get us all really hyped again after that Ask 3 for 3 video last week or two weeks ago, I think this that would be the way to go about that, sorry. Um, and I think that, you know, with uh, something like that where you can just listen to the guns, listen to the, how, how they sound and play, that would be so um, so crazy to see because we actually haven't seen that for something like the battle rifle or um, you know 
even they might have actually modified the assault rifle because I know a lot of people thought that it sounded like a pea shooter. You know, was that the same for you? Did you think that as well, or did you like the sound of that? Um, it was okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't have any. I feel like it could have been better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was fine with it, but I feel like it just it could have been a bit beefier, you know, because the AR is meant to have that that crunch to it kind of thing, you know. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I feel like I would. Uh, I know I would love to see something like that in this update. Um, but yeah, even like what you said there with like just being in this, like a blank skybox kind of thing, just shooting the weapon, showing us how they do it, how they put it together, you know, that would be awesome. I would truly love to see that. And one final thing, uh, so if you guys remember way back, I had those audio recordings where they recorded that pug, I forgot what his, what his name was, um, yep. but you know, they put the microphone like all up in his mouth and he's like, sounds slimy and gross and stuff, but like when they posted that everyone's like flood confirmed 1000 percent like you know holy crap um and you know you there's st the community still split on whether they think the flood's going to be in the game but uh footy ghost what do you think about that little pug guy are we going to see more of him and what is he i think so man i think he's gonna you know i think he's representing the flood i don't know i feel like you know that's the sounds i was listening really closely to that when that first released and uh, my head was just springing straight to flood. Like some of the grunts uh, do sound a bit like that when they're you know talking to each other or um, amongst some other grunts, some other grunts. But I don't know the noises that that pug was making. It's the same as the flood during Combat Evolved when you're like kind of you know you kind of just going through them, uh, shooting as you're going. But you can hear that like noise they make. Um, it, it's hard to explain, but I feel like. I feel like it's the flood, and I, I do think we'll be seeing them in this game. Uh, maybe halfway through the game, you know, by accident, maybe the Banished will accidentally let them out um, <laughs> at the Palace of Pain, but, <laughs> you know, like, you know, Halo C or something, but, you know, there's no way we are on set a Halo, which is the most, you know, mysterious Haloing of all, with a rich flood background. Uh, there's no way we're not seeing the flood. If we don't see the flood, I think it'll be a huge letdown. So, um, I, I do think we'll see the flood yeah, at some point. It might not even be during the campaign, but I think we'll see them at some point. You know, even if it's a story thing, we'll see them at some point. Um, and, the, and that pug, the, the noises it was making, is definitely alluding to the flood. That's just my take on that. Yeah, I can see it for sure. I, I don't know what else it would be. Like a grunt is a stretch, yeah. like you said. So yeah, so I have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, yeah, I mean the guys can listen to it themselves if they want to just clarify on it. But I, I, I think it, I'm sold on the flood. Ha, has to be flood. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for our predictions for this month's uh, Halo Infinite Inside Infinite Update. Uh, I want to thank Footed Ghost for joining me today. He's awesome. Definitely go check out his channel. He makes some yeah, really great Halo content. He's he's always up to date on news and stuff and. Um, you think you're going to be doing a stream for the the update this week oh uh, yeah yes i will be yeah so as soon as it drops i'll be streaming over on my channel uh so be sure if you want to watch that guys jump over there yeah so <laughs> i'll have all of his links in the description below make sure to follow him on twitter and and youtube and everything and check out his stream on uh thursday night probably around 7 8 p.m eastern whenever they drop that yeah um yeah but yeah, so make sure to comment what you guys hope to see below and come back to this video when we are 100% right on Friday and you can comment, oh my gosh, you guys are so smart or something. So uh, <laughs> that's all from us. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe if you feel like it and see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.